Greetings, universal beings and galactic family. My name is Kimberly. I'm here today. Um, this show, I will be doing a healing art therapy session. Um, this will consist more like um, shamanic healing. And I'm also going to do a reading. A collective reading as a whole over the theme so we can just find out background information and that's it so here we go I'm gonna get started I'm about to open space self ancestors spirit guides angels divine be divine beings ets for connection chakra tune in for it That was actually relaxing. So, um, the next part. This is the thing. Uh, the thing today I'm going to be working with for is the art therapy is soul path clearing and identifying with your life purpose, your mission, uh, soul contracts, anything like that. In a way that you, one of the ways to, for soul path clearing, um, if you're unsure, is do like a clearing. Like some road opener work, blockbuster work, and most likely you're probably going to need an etheric core cut, cutting a uh, cutting candle. Um, those are some things to help with the clearing. Also spiritual baths are included with it. Uh, amongst other things, uh, healing energy work. There's many ways you could uh, do clearance. And the next part of it is your life purpose. To identify what your life purpose is, your mission. Um, a lot of the times you would find that information out in, in readings. Sometimes instinctively, or if you need help or not really sure, get a reading on it. 
Um, that's pretty much what I know about that one. Um, so I'm going to do the reading to get some background information. I'm going to use this deck. This is a deck I created called Multidimensional Healing Oracle. Universal Healing for Ascension. This is a prototype. So it's still, I'm still adding to it basically. But once I finish, I have it out to sell for the public. All right, Spirit. This is a collective reading to give some background insight to help people find out what their life's purpose is and what they need to do for clearing, clearing their soul path, their soul path. So I'm going to go through with the message, how they came out. So the first card came out is create healthy boundaries, personal empowerment, and call back life force energy. So, hmm. so part of your clearing and then make, to maintain the health of that clearing, I feel once you do that initial clearing, just clearing all the shit out your path and everything out your life, to maintain it, you need to create healthy boundaries with people, places, things, objects, put it, put it where it go. And also doing that is going to create personal empowerment and that's going to allow that's going to allow you to start growing. And also you do this by calling back your life force energy. You could do that in meditation. Um, visualization. Verbally just speaking it. Start from somewhere. And also, the second card is multidimensional crystal and gemstone healing. And it gives a few examples of some of the crystals. Maybe hard to see. Aquamarine, amethyst, lapis lazuli, carnelian, blue lace agate, citrine, moon, moonstone, uh, trigonic, quartz, selenite, quantum quattro, Flint, Angel Aura, Celestite. Those are a few crystals you can work with to um, for your growth. They help them with so many in so many areas from healing on a physical level to the metaphysical uh, properties the crystals aid in with the clearing, like per se clearing. Uh, tourmaline, quartz, um, a lot of your black stones, black obsidian, and then your next card, it says remove and release negative, toxic, outdated soul, connection, uh, soul connections, present life, and past life. So that is basically, you need a good cord cut, cutting ritual to uh, cut and release old uh, bindings, 
marriages, outdated connections. Then they say past life and present. So that's a good clearing. So remove and release negative, toxic, outdated soul connections, present life, past life. Then the next one is collective dimension, 5D, realm of higher thought form, desire, intellect, enlightenment, space. Enlightenment, space. Okay, you got to go to that head space. You're going to be enlightened on what your mission is and your higher thought forms. Seek your higher self. To find out what's your soul purpose. That's another way. Higher thought forms. A divine. Get a reading. Desire, intellect, enlightenment, space. You will be enlightened. Space. The divine gonna let you know. As a collective, y'all need to connect with the divine. That's how you're going to find out what your mission is. And then it also says, heal core wounds, address root of dis-ease. So you heal core wounds. And that is addressed when they say the core, most likely that's the root. So that's going to involve shadow work. You're going to have to face it and do it. That's addressing the root, the problem, the source of why you're feeling, how you're feeling, disordered, out of place, dis-ease. The next card, improved telepathic, psychic, and energetic commu uh, communication. I guess if you uh, improve that, you'll connect with the uh, the divine better and you'll know you'll be guided wherever whatever area you're in in life you'll be guided so it's basically you need to find your connection with the divine they're going to guide you on what you're on, what, where you're going your mission soul contracts or anything like that that's how that area is going uh, is going to get addressed and it says soul path clearing, clearing of blocks, vows, contracts, and bindings that keep you stuck. So many of us have, look at that, uh, contracts. Okay, with that contracts, is in here again, and it's the clearing of it. If you um, actually live through enough with with a contract and it's outdated and it's no longer serving you it's basically just in a way of you growing you could get that shit removed change, create new soul contracts I don't broke some contracts I ain't need that shit no more so it could be done um, vows I was looking at vows like spiritual merits that I love you shit um, and go back lifetime after lifetime with a clearing on that with them spiritual uh, marriages and any bindings as well. I do this, I do it for present life and past life. And everything I'm saying it can be done in different and various uh, ways, even through healing work, doing reiki sessions, the shamanic journey in. It's really amazing. Um, the last one is physical dimension, 3D consciousness, imagination. Introduce a third point, which allows for the measurement and comparison of objects across time and space. Animal kingdom environment. That's your manifestation. Once you do your clearing, Know your purpose, your goal. Things going to manifest in the 3D. Things you're going to start seeing. Things line up 
and your goals come together and you're going to start seeing um, I guess what you've been thinking about in your mind and your imagination is going to start showing up in your reality so you have to be careful what you think as well so like a track light if you think all that negative shit you're going to be swimming in negative shit if you think more uh, high vibrational, you're going to attract more high vibrational. Simple. All right. That's pretty much what I have for the reading. Also, look, bottom card, release blocks to communication. Connect with higher self. I am presence and you. Connect with self. Heal and release past life trauma. And you have to address with uh, the trauma that was your top and bottom card so in the meantime I'm going to do one more show gratitude gratitude give thanks to your spiritual team show and express appreciation harness your ancestors oh, fuck. honor your ancestors spirit guides angels deity self and then the last one is going to be rest, all your R's. Rest, relaxation, rejuvenate, restore, regroup, receive, revive, replenish. That was a nice mouthful. So that's the reading I have at this time for the collective is, um, I guess, tips and ideas on how to go about they soul path clearing and finding a mission, finding your mission, purpose, knowing what you're here for. You're here for something. All right. In my next part of the video, I'm gonna start the um the art therapy session, reflecting. What we've been talking about. position myself and get myself together I picked out random paint I'm no professional artist I just do random shit I guess and you're gonna see the result of that but this is not random this is a focus therapy session um so if anybody want whenever y'all see this video and y'all have supplies Y'all could do your own, you know, sit there and follow the theme and create your own picture, your own canvas. And this is a small one. It's late. I'm not trying to do all of that extra. Um, you could create whatever. If you don't have paint or anything like that at home, you could use color pencils, crayons, markers, uh, whatever. I don't know. Your children might have a color box or something. Find something in it. In there. Um, if not, at the end of the day, pencil and paper. And you can just sketch. Uh, or just draw a sketch. You don't have to be a professional. Just do right what comes to mind when you think about clearing your path. Clearing your soul path. Really like a good soul clearing. And also, when you think about connecting to what your soul path is, your mission, what you came to planet Earth for, and um, addressing any contracts. Right, let me see. I'm 
I'm so still not prepared. I was supposed to have a little music in the background, but the next day, art therapy, I had a music. Um, let me see where I'm going to go with this. I'm going to look at Soul Path Clearing. Clearing. You should look too gross. I think that is where I'm gonna start. All right, so path clearing. I'm gonna just talk why. While I'm um, painting, all right, all right. For me, when I think about soul path clearing, is Starting it where I'm at the road. And it's the road I'm traveling. To get to my destination. It's very healing. It's calming and peaceful. As you raise your energy up, a lot of old stuff and hurt and pain going to start going away. This is my road. So, whatever you think, everybody's stuff might be different. Some people might be thinking about, they claim it might be birds or something. Birds flying away. Whatever represents your clearing. That's what um, you focus on. Um, I'm work with blue, calming, healing. And as I'm painting, I'm just thinking about, like, not no negative stuff. I'm thinking about a positive outlook. What I have to look forward to. The blue rays. Of the sun. It's really free range in this. I paint 
path is so much clearer. Find the inner balance. And the love, self-love. Oh, that's going to be my next um, art therapy show. It's going to be the theme for that one is self-love. I already planned it. And um, what the hell? This video uh, record So I'm gonna do it that one. I'm gonna speed this up. And this red is representing for me. Heart healing. Love. It's a little darker pink, but still. Feel some type of attraction off of it. I'm gonna do video. I'm gonna do better on that next video. Since this is my first round with this, I kind of know better how I'm gonna come. And then also, when you're doing this, you go meditate, say prayers. However you feel, there's no rules. It's your release. That's all that matter is that you meet the end goal. Finish with that one. I'm gonna use a different technique. I'm gonna use the sponge technique for last color. I have all this that green. All right, here we go. 
And this is just a natural little seed. So, and it's green for me. I always, money first and foremost. And then I go to nature, connecting with nature, help with your healing. What y'all look like the grass, vegetation. Also heart healing too. So maybe the goal with the um part of the healing for your soul purpose, I feel you need to address your uh, your shadow side. You're gonna address your uh what I just said, your shadow side and your heart, most definitely. Because once you heal the heart, once you heal your shadow side, then the, everything start opening up. Like on a on a big scale open up. I'm not talking about your week to week money calendar. I'm talking about big shit. Then once you hear your heart space, that's why your attraction comes. That flow. And attraction and heart space just it don't mean no man. It can mean attract your manifestations, whatever. That's on your dome at the time. So I'm um So I'm gonna have to okay, y'all can get a closer look at it. And this for me, because I'm almost done with it. Um this represents me finding my path. That's the road going up. Can't go nowhere but up. Finding my path and also clearing. That's how I got that heart area, that hard work. But for most people who starting from scratch, I'm gonna recommend you uh, do a good clearing and then work with all your chakras from the root up. But that'll be another video when I go into that more. So for now, because for me it's probably almost 4 a.m. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'm really enjoying my picture. And I'm not all the way done with it. Let's see. Because this is my road. This is this. What they say, follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. So, the yellow brick road. That's the golden road. That's the road. That's your path. That's that divine path. The yellow brick. That's gold. Wealth. Also, I'm manifesting wealth. Yeah. On a big scale. At that. And also, um, I have different websites. I'm going to have all the information available in the description. 
So I'm going to have different art paintings. And it's all going to be healing art therapy. I'm going to have all that on the web website. So if anyone would like to support um, me and buying a painting. And then plus, it's just not no any painting. Anything you get from me is magical. Straight up. I can't help it. I made it. It's magical. That's just how I come. what else I'm going to do with this. This is really true. It's really therapeutic. Like I say, the next, the next one I'm going to have real soon is going to be on the self-love and healing. And we're going to create an um, art canvas. Um... With that goal in mind, as we create our work of healing the heart space, because this is what that was leading. This picture led to that. Some kind of way, the information really led to it. So for right now, I feel I'm just going to do some final touches to my painting and I'm going to be finished with it, but I have to move it. gonna put some glitter pieces on it and also when I do my paintings I put crystals it'd be a lot going on I use all types of things in the paintings I'm just an amateur. Who does great work? Alright, this video right at 40 minutes long. I'm gonna go ahead and end it. But it's very beautiful. I am going to put crystals on this painting as well, but it's going to be later. So 
but this is how this is the end result of my portrait that's reflecting how I view soul path clearing and identifying with my life purpose and mission. And everything meant something. Okay. Well, I'm glad y'all joined me today. I'm coming back with more videos. Less than a month this time. Thank you. Bye.